Hi, this is Jeannie Crescenzo, and this is your Galactic Vibrational Forecast for the week uh, through the, the 21st through the 28th. Now, this is an interesting week. As we talked about last week, we had some throat chakra um, unleashing that we were working with or being supported on working with. This week, we are moving into the third eye. So I want to talk a little bit about that, and then I want to connect us with the angelic realm today, too. So what's interesting in the supportive vibrations that's coming in this week is we are being asked to really clear out our own personal clutter, clearing out our energy systems of old beliefs, of old connections, really being clear and honest with ourselves. That utilizes our supportive vibrations from last week of connecting with the throat chakra. Now, as I am saying this, I can literally feel the presence of Archangel Michael. The angels really want to come through today. Um, even the cosmic angels really want to come through today. Now, they work very closely with the Galactic High Council that I connect with very often. And they sort of are the messengers, the caretakers, and the gatekeepers of a lot of high esoteric wisdom. But they also are very pure beings, and they have no true agenda other than to bring us to a higher vibrational place of understanding and wisdom. So as we're doing that, and as we're being supported in that this week, we are being asked, let's do some inner work more clearing needed, especially of our perceptions of ourself, who we are as a human being, and understanding that we are more than that, that we are a multidimensional being having many levels of experience that the human being isn't always aware of or can really tap into. But we get this sense of, you know, I feel like I'm having more than one experience. And a lot of us are having more than one experience because our soul really wants to evolve, really wants to learn, and has chosen to have multiple uh, existences at one time. So at this time, you could potentially be having um, a parallel life or another existence in another dimensional place for your soul's growth. As we are learning, time is quickening up now on Earth. We are in an incarnational schematic right now where we are literally uh, being bombarded. I don't know if you want to use bombarded as the correct word, but there are many, many very advanced souls being born on this planet. Very, very advanced. Some of them are very, um, have come from a place of ascended mastery and even angelic places, different realms a being are being incarnated here and a lot of those people forget who they are for a very good reason because what they are supposed to learn here is the human experience but they carry that inner wisdom with them that's sort of on a time clock and that's waiting to open up when they're ready and in a sense when humanity is ready for them so if you feel like you're out of sync with time just be patient with that and really learn to clear out the inner clutter so that you can listen and connect with that higher wisdom that is your, I would call it your master self. Because a lot of us are coming from different star systems, different dimensions of being, and even are just very, very old souls coming in with so much wisdom. We have so much to give. You have so much to give. And it's time to really go into that new frontier. So as we're doing that, we're really being called now to step out of our comfort zone. And that includes letting go of the limiting perceptions that are getting in the way of us truly, truly connecting with the real truth. And that connects with our third eye. Now the pineal gland is the doorway to incredible deep wisdoms. And, and for a lot of us who are really connected with the star families, our star families and our star seeds, a lot of times the pineal gland is the transceiver and the transmission where we really connect with our star family, our soul group that's always connected to us. Now I've seen a lot of, when I work with people, I see um, sometimes there's a little um, energetic crystalline implant that is also 
um, connect deeply into the pineal gland. Those implants are very positive and they represent our connection with our soul families and our star families. Um, and I've seen a lot of connection with starships as well, or light ships, if you want to call that. So some of these people are coming from far, far out in the galaxy and in different universes, connecting and really wanting to help here and help humanity expand to a higher level. So we're also being called to, when it comes to our stability, our security, our, um, the way that we view our, our material world, we are really being called now in the support of vibration to bring in the source, go from, come from the crown chakra, really connect with our divine guidance and bring that higher light into our material awareness of our life. And that's very, very important because this connects the crown chakra with the root chakra. It makes a very powerful, complementary dynamic that we need to start bringing in. Uh, there seems to be too much solar plexus uh, um, way of being, way of mode of operating too much in the solar plexus or too much in the root, root uh, chakra where we just feel so... Uh, connected with wanting to struggle and wanting to survive and by connecting the root chakra in complement with the crown chakra we never have to feel like we're struggling we're going to come into this place of understanding that the universe is here for us we are in a benevolent universe and that we have the support in these beliefs that we are limited um, and that we are blocking our perception, our third eye perception of really experiencing that knowing of we live in a benevolent universe and that we are connected to such a powerful resource if we would just get out of the root chakra, out of the lower chakras, keep them balanced, mind you, because it's very important for them to keep balanced, but bring our energy up now, bring our materialistic mind up into the crown chakra so that we know what true support feels like, the true divine connection feels like, and true connection to the source of all that is, the creator of all that is. This also involves some healing support for our feminine aspects this week. This is about really allowing ourselves to receive, really allowing ourselves to truly listen to our feelings and listen to our intuitions, and this can be some true powerful insight that we're coming into this next week of not only of our inner world, but being detached enough and objective enough in your higher space to really see what's going on and the patterns reflected in our world to help us heal that and move through releasing our karma and releasing that. And that's where the angels come in because they really want to help us with that. Angels are or light beings, whatever your whatever you term you want to use, um, these beings of light, these pure beings of light are here to help us um, ascend. These cosmic beings are here to help us ascend and connect with our higher selves and connect with our higher aspects. And they see that we've been struggling a little bit with that and they want to pull us up. So please, 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 Take this moment to close your eyes, take three deep breaths, and literally think to the angels, angels, please and thank you, thank them for helping you or helping us. Literally say, thank you angels for helping me to see from a higher perspective in this situation, to clear my third eye and release my limiting beliefs that keep me connected to the lower energies of this world so that I can raise my vibration up to perceive clearly my path and really walk my path. Because that's the end game of this week in the support of vibration is that we are being guided. It is time now for us to see our higher truth for us to really follow through on our visions our dreams our goals that is the high vibration that is coming this week not only do we have Archangel Michael coming through to help but we have our cosmic star family um, our cosmic angels and then also our what I call 
our messenger angels and our angels of all kinds that are really, really wanting to come through and saying, we don't really have an agenda. We just see from a higher perspective and know your potential and we want to help, but we only will help if you ask us to. So they will come in and help you with this. All you need to do is ask and truly know that you are worthy of this. Irregardless of what your mind tells you, you are worthy of receiving the help from these, uh, from these light beings, from these angels. So that's the energy and supportive energies for the week that I really want you to connect with and take time with. Really think about what it is that's blocking you from really following through on your dreams and goals and listening and following through on your intuitions as well. This is all about the third eye. And also remember that as we're going through these, these clearings of old belief, please drink plenty of water. Now water is very clearing, for, especially for the pineal gland. So if you find that you're dehydrated or if you drink a lot of caffeinated um, beverages, make sure you are drinking plenty of water to clear out and keep the energy of your pineal gland and your third eye harmonious so that you can really get clear about what you want and move forward on that. Thank you for tuning in and joining me this week, especially with the energy of Archangel Michael with me kind of coming through and, and giving you the confidence that you need to really follow through on that. Those are our supportive energies for the week. Again, you can always contact me through my website if you need a little extra guidance uh, along your path or feel you need some help uh, releasing some of those limiting beliefs that you carry with them.